Hi, in this lecture we're going to talk about the macro expansion. So what is a macro expansion is? So let me give an example, uh, then we will talk about this. So let, uh, let you want to find the area of a, uh, let's say, circle. Okay, so what we generally use is, um, let's say, uh, a float, right, area, okay float area now area is equals to let's say and you give a pi all right r and into r right r pi r square so so we generally use to print this uh, is the area of the circle right and you place here area, right? Area is a float variable, and here pi and r is not declared now. So let's say pi equals to 3.14 uh, right? Okay, and let's say you also add r here, and let's say you want to take the input from the user so you print it enter the R value let's say you have that new line right and also you scan the variable R right scanning needs the ampersand sign because address of the variable R has to be assigned to this uh, apartment specifier Right. So it is a correct for way of writing the code. Let's compile right. and then run it. Let's say 4. So it will give you the answer. Okay, right. Now, and for instance, let's say uh, this code is shared in a computer system and your friend tries to add value 1 to the pi. Now what is happening here is uh, if anyone tries to uh, modify the value of pi here the answer will be quite different. See? The answer will be quite different. So here is the problem is let's say this pi should remain constant in our entire uh, code, right? So what you can do is you can take this pi from here, right? You can take it and you write constant, right? Constant float pi equals to 3.141, okay? And then close it. And by this, uh, if you try to compile, then error will occur because this pi variable, which is float type, is uh, assigned with the constant type. So this pi cannot be modified anywhere in the program. right? So this statement should not be there in any of the uh, line of code. So let's compile now. Now it will sh show you no error. right? And if, uh, if you want to implement this method in a proper better way, I will show you how to implement it. Let's say you delete this one or let's say it is commented. Right? comment it so that it will not execute this. Now after this preprocessor directives you have to write define pi space 3.141 uh, one, right so this is defined as this value would be assigned to pi right and what does this mean is this pi if it is seen anywhere in the code from here it will just place the value as 3.141, right? It will just replace that value. I will show you different examples to make this clear, okay? For example, here uh, the code executes from this line, float area, comma, r, print statement, it will scan the value of r, and pi here, there is a pi here. So after, after the preprocessing, this pi 
would be replaced by 3.141, right? And then the answer to this problem is very simple. You need to scan the value of R, which is 4, and it will give the answer correct, right? And let's say I replace this float with, let's say, triple M, okay? So it is actually a compile error. See, MMM is not any any kind of data type, right? So this will definitely show you an error, right? The unknown type name. So why not do this? MMM should be replaced with float. So let's check now, right? So if you see that, there is no error now. So what is happening here is this MMM after the pre-processing is replaced by the float, right? So then the whole code will look similar as of the before, okay? So this is a quite a simple example of macro expansion. Let me tell you a different example. So let's talk about this uh, program here. Now you can see that there's a var macro which is replaced with the integer and there's a d um, it is a macro function, so d of a gives you a plus a. So it is double function, macro function, right? So let's execute this program. So after preprocessing, what should be we uh, should uh, include in our main code, right? So here, before preprocessing, the code was this, right? And after preprocessing, the code would be equal to integer cat comma x equals to 3 right and what about this cat equals to d of x would be represented with the a plus a right so x would be added twice because this x would be assigned here d of x and d of x equals to x plus x so here x plus x and there's an into sign here okay into again x plus x, right? And then put a colon here, semicolon, and then print the value of the cat. So this is the main uh, code that we want to write in our uh, after print thing, right? So here x value is 3, so you need to evaluate this, right? So according to the precedence and associativity, so you have to take the arithmetic operators first, right? So here these two would be uh, associated first because multiplication has higher uh, priority than the plus operator so you need to write here like this 3 plus 3 into take a bracket here 3 into 3 plus 3 gives you uh, 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 3 is 15 right 15 is the answer to this problem. Now let's execute this code uh, to get the answer. So 15 is the answer to this problem. So by this uh, method you can also declare any type of uh, uh, variable in such a way that it comes under macro. Okay, and try to practice with this macro expansion. It is quite interesting.